Charlie Parsons, Boxing Social and Association, and William Hill and Empire Fight Store. Delighted to be joined here. Cyrus Patterson, ahead of your first main event uh, come Saturday, also in Newcastle. I mean, what a proud, proud moment this must be for yourself. Looking very dapper as well, I must say. No, I'm uh, really looking forward to Saturday. It's been a long time coming. Um, my debut was limited capacity at the Eagles. It was initially meant to be at the Metro. So I was a little bit disappointed at the time of my debut, but I'm glad it didn't happen. And we've went full circle and we've came because it's made it more special this time. Look, you are headlining on the zone in what is, I believe, your sixth fight. Um, incredible, really, when you look at sort of just the last sort of 18 months and how everything's unfolded. I suppose this is a real feel for the future as to what's to come for you. To be honest, I don't really look too far into the future. I keep saying I'm a one-fight man. Like, this is the fight, this is the stadium, this is the title that I've got my, my eyes firmly focused on. Um, but hopefully this is the start of something to bring boxing back up in the northeast. And I keep saying it doesn't really matter to the people what kind of banner or promotion it's on. That People just want the boxing back up and it'd be good to get that scene up and, up and going again. I mean... Uh, Lewis Stritton done amazing things and he's still doing amazing things for North East but like I keep saying that there's uh, we've got talent in abundance up here so there's uh, there's form for uh, enough to go around you know what I mean well big trust obviously in Matchroom and the zone in putting you in main event just how much of a special feeling is that it's a good uh, it's a good feeling uh, the believing is obviously and but to be honest the the give us opportunities that I think a lot of fighters would have knocked back. I mean, my last fight, I was meant to be fighting for an area title uh, against an orthodox fighter, and it was only, I think it was five days before the fight, we couldn't get the, the area title sanctioned, so an IBO Continental against uh, four more durable and uh, experienced opponent came in, and who was also a southpaw, so I had to no, no southpaw spawn that camp, so these opportunities come and you've just got to take them when they're there, so... Yeah, we are. Well, let's talk about that. Another step up here. You fight Chris Jenkins. I've seen, um, obviously, we saw Chris gave Florian Marku a good fight for four rounds. Had that fight with Julius Ndongo, uh, former unified champion uh, recently. Uh, in fact, as far as sort of the last couple of years go, still British and Commonwealth champion. Obviously, a couple of defeats in his last run of form, but against real credible and good opposition. This is a real opportunity to secure a statement win and cement yourself on the British level. Definitely fully focused. Uh, I'm expecting the best version of Chris Jenkins. I mean, many thought that he, he won against McKenna and he was beating Mark at one point until the, the time of the stoppage. Uh, also beating Dongo. Um, so you know, he's not going to change that much over six months. Do you know what I mean? He's not going to slide that, that much. So I th think he's going to be very much uh, bring, bring the heat, like I say, and it's going to be an exciting fight. Cyrus, I know you say you're a one-fight man, you don't put your eyes in the future, but obviously you know, you're able to share this with a lot of uh, boys who from the North East as well, and I imagine you would have grown up doing this whole boxing journey with. Just how special of a moment is it for you? And um, you maybe look back at the memories, photos you've got five, ten years ago, and now all of you up on a press conference stage. Must must be a real good feeling. It's, uh, it's funny you should mention that, actually, because i done a, a time hop the other day on my Instagram and there was a, it was a story from, I think it was about three, four years ago, when there was four or five of on GB, and we're all cooling down, and that was precisely like the type of uh, moment that we would have been kind of discussing the future plans of, uh, having a show in the North East and we're all being on at the Metro, and obviously four, four, about four or five years down the line, here yeah, we all are, so it's, uh, it's an exciting time. Cyrus, breaking news has also just come out. The zone will be available for Sky viewers on Channel 429 as well. Um, obviously, this is a bit of a hit back to people saying, you know, don't want to fight on an app. Obviously, Josh Boatsy signing uh, with Boxer yesterday and saying, look, I don't want people to have to download an app. You now will be able to get that exposure on Sky as well, as well as being on the zone. Um, that must be another, another good thing. To be honest, that's music in my ears because you're the first person to mention that to me, so... Have they just announced it's breaking news now? So you can, so it'll be on a certain channel on a Sky 429. Uh, all you've got to do is have the zone subscription and you'll be able to watch it on Sky Channel. That's good news. It's another target audience, do you know what I mean? And, and uh, I think it's a, it is a great business step by the zone because I mean, there was uh, a lot of obviously the British kind of audience that were lost out on when, once Matchroom left uh, Sky, but. 
uh, it's, it's going to be good. It's going to be beneficial for everyone, so it's, it's, good, it's good news. I'm sure you'll have a few more eyes on you this Saturday because of that. That's it. Got to do the job, eh? <laughs> Cyrus, top man, thank you for making the time to speak to us. All the best ahead of Saturday night. Chris Jenkins, uh, Pattinson versus Jenkins here. At Newcastle, WBA, Intercontinental, International World Weight title. We've got it right in the end. Uh, just a final message to your supporters. Uh, thank you for all the support. I know that people have bought tickets and travelled far and wide, and I've, st I've sold a kind of few tickets. So um, even just the good luck messages of the people that can't make and watching at home, just all the support in general, not just for me but for everyone on the show, it's uh, it doesn't go unnoticed. So thank you. Iris, top man, all the best Saturday night. Appreciate it, Thank you. Nice one, bro.